All right, let's look at crude oil. All right, the best thing to do, the, the easiest way to, uh, to, to look at a system is on any system you have is you got to create a trading plan. If you don't have a trading plan, if you don't have a rules, if you don't have a rule based system, then you're basically trying to throw your money to the other traders because you must be a systematic trader if you're going to trade market profile. Market profile has been around for 32 years and it continues to trade. I mean, it continues to have the same rhythm as it's had since 1985. What we have, we have the advantage of knowing where the volume is in the market, meaning where the volume comes from the hedge fund, prop firms, professional traders, amateur traders. We're not trading stochastics. We're not trading lagging indicators like a MAC. We're not trading moving average crossovers. Moving averages are worthless, but they're great for trend direction. So what we're doing essentially is we're trading off order flow. We're taking all the volume in the market that's coming through the market that you're trading, and we're trading off major support and resistance. Let me show the order importance. We'll do a quick video on how to do this and show you the setups that these traders have been running this morning and why this, these setups are working and, uh, and how they work for 32 years. The first thing you do, this is the, the setup we have. We have a black chart, a white chart, and a gray chart. These first two charts set the market up. The black chart, the white chart set the market up. The third chart to your right is a market delta chart. That's an order imbalance. That's what we use to enter the market at our key market profile levels. Okay, so we have three charts. The first thing you do, none of these charts or indicators mean anything until you find the direction of the market. When you sit down at your computer and you're looking to trade whatever market you look at, it's the same methodology for any market that you look at. I don't care if you trade soybeans, copper, S&P 500, Russell 2000, NASDAQ futures, doesn't matter. Dow minis, crude oil, gold, silver, doesn't matter. Same exact way you trade all markets. You look at the tone or the trend. The market can only do two things. We're either going to go vertical or we're going to go sideways in the morning or whenever you're trading. So what you have to find is you gotta find the overall trend. And that's going to tell you you get three shots at trading market profile when you find the trend. The best way to do it is I have two moving averages on my trend filter built in. The best one is this magenta or pink moving average. That is going to tell you the overall tone or trend of the market. If I'm angled down, I'm going to be a net seller on market profile. If I'm angled up, I'm going to be a net buyer in market profile. If I'm flat as a pancake, I'm going to sell the high and buy the low market profile, right? The market can only do two things, go vertical, go up, go down, or go sideways. So you have to establish that first. This morning, we are angled down. The most important is this magenta MA. It takes you a half a nanosecond to realize, or a half a second, what the trend is. We are angled down. I want to be net sellers now. I want to be net sellers on market profile. Let me get it get another way. So. If I'm a net seller market profile, I only got three shots at taking the market short. Three shots. So you found your trend. Your trend is down. Angle's down. Trend is down. Okay. Trend is down. We are angled down. Once we're angled down, we're angled down, we're going to be net sellers. There's the two market profiles right here that are the most important in this black chart. Remember, the black and white chart set the market up. It tells you where we should be buying and selling on a high probability trade setups. I have the most important market profile levels on this black chart. I only have two of them. The most important of all the market profiles I have is volume profile. It's this big blue, red, and green levels. Blue is the most volume that's traded in any market that you trade. It's going to fire up automatically for you. This is not a standard 30-minute market profile that a lot of novice traders use. Everybody uses them. I use a long-term institutional market profile. So I'm looking at long, longer-term intraday profiles. This blue line is the most volume that's traded in that particular market. It's going to create natural support and resistance for us during the day. The red line is calculated from this blue line, and the green line is calculated from this blue line. They show up also. 
These will move periodically during the day and lock themselves in and stop moving. That's when the market has found value. And we want to trade off that value to find high probability trades. So what we're going to do if the angle of my trend filter moving average is down, I want to sell, be a net seller off these three solid lines. Solid red, solid blue, solid green. How do I do it? If I'm in a downtrend, I only get three shots off volume profile to go short. I either market either comes back up and I test high value area. And within a couple ticks and I get negative market delta, I try to short the high on HVA if it's in a downtrend. The second shot at it, this is a control point. Most volume is traded. If it's in a downtrend, I'm not going to buy the control point. You're in a downtrend. I want to break, retest, and try to go short. We had a lot of big trades this week, especially gold this week. Huge opportunities. Sometimes it'll stop to the exact tick on that control point. It's very accurate. It's got to at least come within a couple ticks. You don't want to be five, six ticks away from it on any of these. You want to be within two or three ticks. You want to see a break, retest. That's your second shot at going short. Here's your first shot. Try to short the retest. Second shot. Try to short the break, retest. Never did it this morning on crew, did it? Never got to the HVA, never broke, retested the control point. Then it comes down to the low value area. We're smarter than our average trading opponents. A lot of market profile participants, if you go to other trading rooms or if you go read books, they buy LVA and downtrends. Bad idea. LVA, we do not do that. We go with the overall market structure. It says if we break through LVA, I'm going to look for a natural rotation back up to it and look for a continuation short. So our qualified setup that happened this morning so far, we only had one solid retracement was right here on our ABC pattern. That was our short, negative market delta, break, retest, short. So we had three opportunities to go short this morning on crude oil. Only the LVA solidified. It broke through the LVA. We don't buy LVA, remember, we're in a downtrend. It broke through the LVA. It retested within a couple ticks. It can even exceed it. It just can't close a candle above it, meaning open versus close. Wicks don't matter. It got inside of it, negative market delta, and we had this nice little run. So very simply what we've done is we established the market was in a downtrend. We know there's only three shots to go short. We can sell the HVA, break retest the control point, break retest the LVA. All right? Now we're going into a two times retracement. So also, now that's the solid lines. I have solid lines right there, right? I got those solid blue, red, and green. That's volume profile. That's been around since 1994. Price profile, been around since 1985. Those are those small little dots, small red, small blue, small green, small red, coming up to resistance right now at 50. Possible shallow retracement trade within a couple ticks right now. These small ones are price profile. What we like to see is if price folk profile and volume profile both overlap. Look at this C ABC pattern short that we had. You see how LVA, Dave, and, and Jason, they overlap within a couple ticks? That's called a stack level. That is a stack level or what we, we call confluence. So not only the first thing we look at is volume. Volume is the most important. Volume is the most important. The solid red, green, and blue. We got three shots at taking volume short in a downtrend. But if price profile comes within a couple ticks of it, you have a stack level. Now, yesterday, the high on crude oil, the session high, was when three of my profiles came within a couple ticks of each other. That is when I have these profiles on the white chart. I have two profiles on the white chart then. So I got volume over here in the black, solid blue, red, and green, big, thick lines. Those are your most important. Nothing beats volume profile. Okay, nothing beats volume profile. Okay, VWAP doesn't beat profile. Price profile doesn't beat profile. Volume profile, VWAP is very inaccurate by itself. So is price profile by itself. But when you take volume and price together and also developing, which we have over here, you have very, very strong profile level. So over here on the white chart, I have high value and low value also. So I got three profiles I'm dealing with. This is a stack level. Now check this out. You see how it stopped up here? Do you think it's just by dumb luck that price is down here? 
Price is right here, and I said that's the next short opportunity. It stopped right at the low to the tick. You think that's by luck it did that? How did I project that, that it could turn right here when price is all the way down to 25? How did I project 50? One. How? How can I do that? Because my new price profile came right here, 51. My developing profile right here at the time was 51. Here it was, 51, 51. So I had two times stack level here also. So I had two times stack level at that high and two times level stack at this high. They're both ABC shorts. And look how the market reacts on profile. So you can trade off of volume is your first. What you want to look at, and if price profile comes within a couple ticks here on the black chart, the dots, or my developing profile, those are the three profiles that go over top of each other. Now this high yesterday, this exact swing high yesterday, here, this is three times stack profile. Look at called the major top. Look at that. Look at that. That's what you get if you get three profiles stack over top of each other. Boom. It's a huge trade. Right? This is only two times stack this morning. Here and here. When you get three times stack, three times stack means I got the solid blue, red, or green, and the dots over here in my price profile within a couple ticks, and my developing is right on top of it. So you can see on my projected high, stop right at it, and there she goes. It's not hard. Very simple. You just try to find stacked here and retracements. Now, the flip side before I turn this off, Gerald, what if we're in an uptrend? I'm going to show you do an uptrend. An uptrend is just the opposite. Here's what you do in a downtrend. If I'm in an uptrend, let's say my angle of my magenta MA is up. Make sure my traders can see that, that you guys can see that. What if we're angled up? What if the magenta MA is angled up? Let's look over here at these white lines over here. What if I'm angled up like this on the magenta MA? What if I'm angled up? Here we're angled down. Sell HVA, break retest control, break retest LVA. Very simple. It's been doing it for 32 years. Same exact trades. Every single day, the same rhythm. Now, what if we're in an uptrend? Well, now you got to buy the retest of LVA. So if price would come down here, that's two times stack level within two ticks. I would buy that with positive market delta. Or if it breaks through the control point, break through retest, then you would buy the retest of the control point. Now, if it comes up to the HVA, here in a downturn, we sell the HVA, right? Not an uptrend. We're smarter than that. We're smarter than our trading opponents that, that don't know how to trade profile. We know that we're going to let it break out. We're going to let it retest. And we had this on crude for that big explosion a couple days ago. Broke out of HVA and exploded. Retested to the exact tick on it. And it took off like crazy. There you got three shots in an uptrend. So you got three shots in a downtrend. You get three shots in an uptrend. And that's all you're going to have. You got three shots of going to work on any market you trade. I don't care what market you look at, any future, any currency, any stock. You get three shots at it. The best shot to take is the first retest or the first test of it. Now, this last setup that I projected, I projected this way ahead of time. Price is almost 30 ticks away from it when I projected this cell right here. How did I do that? How did I project this cell? Right there. How did I do it? How did I project this last cell right here? Look at it. Stop right in my zone. How did I know that? How did I know that's a high probability area? Because new market profile came and hit HVA. What's my methodology in a downtrend? Sell HVA. What did it do? ABC short. Went down. Went back up to my ABC. Came within two ticks. Got come within two or three ticks, and there you go. Look how I projected that short way ahead of time. Why? New price profile came up. Why? That's an ABC short. Why? It's a 70-62 to 76% retracement. Not hard. If I take this high, which I'll show you, that's an ABC. It just did another ABC pattern, didn't it, the market, and a the trend. There you go. There's your ABC pattern. And there is my projected high. So what the market did over here too, there's my A, there's my B, 
There's my C. Another ABC pattern once again. Okay, Gerald, one sec, man. I'm almost done. So that's how you trade trend. If I'm trending up, buy LVA, break retest control, break retest HVA. If I'm trending down, retest HVA, break retest control, break retest LVA. Now crude is now two for two off market profile. What David said earlier, our long-term member, he told Jason, you can't be selling in the middle of nowhere. You see this how this happened now, Jason? It actually stopped the market profile, two times stacked area. I got two market profiles over here, one over here. That's how you do it. It's called a stack level. Okay, now, before I shut this off, let's say the market, you come in and the mid, uh, and the, let's say you come in and the market's flat, it's magenta's flat. Here's what you do. The market does this. Sell the high of HVA, buy the low of LVA. Sell the high of HVA, buy the low of LVA, I'm sorry, sell the high of HVA. Sell the high of HVA, buy the low of LVA. Then on the third test, it would like to break out. Look for a break retest. We have this exact same setup that happened a few days ago. It did that right there. We sold the high of HVA. This is HVA at the time. Sold the low of LVA. High health. Then it broke out retest at the time. This is HVA. It stopped to the exact tick. On a breakout of HVA, right here, the HVA, this red line is right there at the low. It stopped right there. I sent the chart out to you guys. Then all of a sudden, you got yourself almost a 100 tick trade. Because we knew it. We knew the magenta MA was flat. See how flat it is? That's how you trade range markets. See how flat it is? We bought the low, sold the high, bought the low, sold the high, bought the low, sold the high, bought the low, breakout, take the first retracement. Market's been doing this for 32 years. See ya. It's all the rhythm all the rhythm of the market. You gotta know how to trade shop and you gotta know how to trade trend. If you don't, you might as well shut it down or these markets will take every single dime that you have in your account. They will eat you alive. You cannot trade if you're not knowledgeable how to trade. You gotta be knowledgeable how to trade market profile. If you're not, you're gonna get killed. To me, market profile is the only strategy you can use that actually shows your order flows at. Because we know. We know exactly, just like that projected high that I said the next level is on two times confluence, I knew this at the low. How, how can you do that? I'm not smarter than everybody. I'm not smarter than the market. I'm letting the market tell me what to do. Order flow is right there at 50, came up to 50, 51, negative market delta, right? Or get into the, like I said, the uh, momentum bar is the best way to do it because it's a second test area. You're good to go. So we use mark, we use the trend first, then we let market profile tell us where to buy and sell. We got three shots at it. Then on second test trades or retracement trades, we use a momentum indicator. This last entry should have been here. If you want to sell it, that first red bar, sell it. Got your first target easy. Stop loss, two ticks above the swing high if we're wrong. And we will be wrong. Some days market profile will be uncanny. There'll be days where you come in. And we're five for five, six for six, seven for seven. Then other days, there'll be three winners and two losers, or two losers and three winners. You can still have two losers and three winners. If you sell 50% on the first push, let the runner run, and take your losers when they're small. Keep them two ticks above the swing. You got to minimize risk. Everybody's going to get stopped out. If you can't take a stop out, Shut the account down and find something else because that's part of trading. Taking small losses, that's part of trading. And if you don't understand that, you cannot be a trader. That's part of the business plan. It's written right in there in the business plan. You must take small losers if it doesn't work out. Like this ABC right here. If this, you get in this trade and your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high up here. If it takes you out at two ticks above the swing high, then let it take you out. Don't adjust the stop. Well, there's resistance up here. Let me adjust the stop up here on Chart Trader. Resistance up here, don't do that. If it takes out that swing high, then that means the rhythm of the market is over. Don't try to rationalize stops. If it takes a swing high out, you're out. 